I finally have a New Year's resolution. I'm going to let you figure out what it is. For some reason, in this country, people still feel like when you deal with a black man, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Even when you're doing conducting business. When you conduct, I just feel like, and I know it's true because and not because I took a business class in college, because I did take one as an elective, which I didn't need to, but I took it anyway. But common sense tells you when you do it, when you conduct business with people, you 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 conduct yourself in a different way. You don't conduct yourself in a way that's um, uh, social. When you're when you're with your friends or your family, you conduct yourself in a more casual way. But this is the deal. I give you three. I give you three instances, okay? I hired hired this sixteen year old girl to draw one of my characters, and I paid her twenty dollars. Now, before that, I sold her an art book. I sold her this this video game Japanese art Japanese art book or whatever, and I sold it to her. For like thirty dollars, because it was worth forty. Okay, so I sold her the book for thirty dollars. She gave me thirty dollars. Then I turned around and hired her to draw one picture of one of my characters for twenty dollars. She showed me the unfinished picture, and I said to her, "Oh, the head's the head's too big." Now instead of her finishing the picture and turning it in. Because I had already paid her the $20. That was my mistake. Instead of her just finishing the picture and turning it in. Or starting from scratch. Starting all over again. This bitch tells everybody else in, in the uh, the uh, anime store we were hanging out with. Hanging out in. She told everybody about it and turned everybody against me. It's like. I'm hiring you. I get to tell you, that's like if you hire a contractor to work on your house. If you hire a contractor to work on your house, you pay them half up front and half when they're done. Just like when you print uh, in the 90s when you publish a comic book. You pay half half up front and you pay the other half when it's done. Okay, And then while they're working on it, if they're working on your house, you get to make suggestions. They don't get to say, no, stop, don't say nothing to me. No, motherfucker, you work for me. That's how businesses go. Especially if you're an independent contractor, like an artist who works for somebody. You know, all I can say about that girl is uh, she, I know she's about 20 something now. Try that shit at work. You you don't understand as an artist, you you going to get at, at best, a six-month work-for-hire contract. And if they don't like your ass for any reason, it might be, hey, my, my son's friend, they're in a fraternity, and he's a man, and I know he's not going to give me no shit, so I'm going to fire your ass, and I'm going to hire him. You can complain then, because then your employer don't have to hear the shit. Okay, secondly, uh, I met this guy on MySpace, and he hired me to draw... His characters. He was a novelist. So I was drawing his characters. And every time I drew his character. I charged him $100. So then one weekend. I was house sitting for my friends. And I was working on them, drawing the character. And he said you know. Give me a little uh, preview. And I showed him the preview. And he got pissed off. Because I missed my. Uh, my high school teacher called me Mr. Detail. So I kind of like. Drew the gun first. And then can't zoomed out and drew the character i should have you know did it all sketched it out first and then he got pissed off and said, oh you're blah 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 you know you're messing with my money blah blah blah. you know what i said i ain't say a goddamn word i just said okay you're so much in a hurry blah blah i said okay because he hired me to do something for he hired me to draw that for him so he just didn't get that artwork because he hadn't paid for it already. So I just stopped drawing for him. Because I had sold him two, two uh, character designs before. 
$400 a piece, and he didn't like the last one, so he didn't have to buy it. He didn't have to buy it. Okay. Thirdly, last year, I left a message for my tax lady. I left her a message in February on a Monday. In fact, I think I might have called her twice. A month or two later, you know, I got the snow, the weather got bad again. So it snowed and stuff. A month or two later, I get back with her. I'm like, yeah, you know, you about done with those taxes. I'm like, mm. She's like, no, I ain't. What you talking about? I said, well, I left you a message on a Monday. She said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Let me clarify something first. The girl that I hired to do the artwork for me, she was white. The lady that does my taxes, she's black. Okay. She said, no, you didn't. You did not leave me a message. And I texted my friends about it who published, and they're like, you can get, a, you can hire another CPA. But I mean, my thing is this. And it's, I'm not the one with the problem because I know how to do business. I, I, I own shares of several companies. I own shares of several companies and I go looking for startups. I'm on all the, I'm on all the, I'm on everything. I'm on WeFunder. I'm on Start Engine. I'm on all of them. And the same thing with movies. I go to all the movie websites to fund things. My thing is this. How is it that I'm paying you? But you can't be wrong because you're immature and you're an old person, for one. You're immature and you can't be wrong because you're talking to a black man, I guess. You can't be wrong, so you can't accept the fact that you didn't answer your machine or your machine or the person working for you erased the message or whatever. I took responsibility for the situation when I was being hired by somebody. Why can't you take responsibility for what you or your office did wrong why is everything always my fault see that's why i'm about to be done with the comic book industry in a few years when i go online and buy up enough stuff stuff i mean stuff by shares when i go online i buy enough shares i buy enough stock i buy enough whatever when that stuff starts to pay off i'm gonna be done i'm gonna be done dealing with people Period. All y'all can go on off and talk all the shit you want to talk about me for me being black or you're being superior. Go on and be superior. I'll be in Japan. Where the fuck do you, where do Duck Girl and Crane operate? Japan and Australia. So your ass wouldn't even be in a fucking movie, would you? You can be superior to me. You being superior to me, Tom, Dick, and Harry, it don't change what stocks we own. You don't change what shares of what companies we own. Just like if you want to cancel somebody, go on and cancel them. You ain't going to cancel their bank account. You don't know what kind of property, what kind of uh, real estate. You don't know what kind of real estate people own. You don't know what kind of, you don't know. All you know about somebody is, oh, that guy's a singer. That guy's a rapper. That guy's an actor. That guy's an athlete. That guy. That guy publishes comic books. Ugh, that's stupid. No, what's stupid is you think that somebody can publish a comic book and not do anything else. That's like saying when you go to college for art, they don't make you do all this other shit. They made me take botany. To get a bachelor's degree for art, I had to take botany. That's the study of bio biology of plants. They made me take all kind of bullshit that I don't fucking use. But go on and live in your little fantasy world where you think you know everything about every fucking body. But I'm going to tell you this. People in this country, you need to learn how to do business with people. Now, I'm not talking about people that are like working for a big company. I'm talking about all you people that work independently. You're, you're a freelance artist or you own your own small business. You need to learn how to deal the right way to deal with people. For real. Because when I get on, I'm done with you.